Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here at the dock, and in this episode, I'm going to go over my um, the my instrumentation um, screen. This is the most photographed um, picture of the boat. Is this screen right here? And we'll get into uh, why I take so many photographs of it, um, and also I'll go over how uh, I configure this screen. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Close your eyes, hear the voice within. All right, so on the screen, so um, it starts, this starts out, well, let me just talk first what I do with it. All right, so on my instrumentation screen, <clears throat> what I have on here is um, coolant temperature, oil pressure, I got the date, GPS position where I'm at, um, the trim tabs and trim pitch, I get that information because I got the Lenco Auto Glide, that's where that comes from. I get my fuel used for trip, my uh, trip odometer, engine hours, the depth, so anytime I'm maneuvering in and out of marina, this is the screen I usually have up because I'm interested in my um, engine to make sure it's working good, how much fuel I have, um, right? Um, I'll always reset the trip odometer to zero. Um, when I get to a fuel, how do I use the screen? When I get to a fuel dock to fill up, I always photograph this screen because it'll tell me how much fuel I have left so I can subtract, you know, take that number away from 150. That's how much gas I expect to put in the boat. Uh, for doing my fuel log, Right, um, having a photograph of the screen, um, I have all the data in here that I need. I know how much fuel I had left, so I know how much I'm adding. I know what the engine hours are in the boat. I know the, the odometer of the boat, uh, the distance that I've traveled. Um, so that way I can update my fuel log later on, um, you know, um, in the day in the week when I get back to the dock. Um, I do um, file the state of Washington for the gas tax, get a refund on that. I usually get between two and four hundred dollars back every year. Right, so I hit the fuel dock, I photograph this screen, I photograph the receipt, and that way, usually you know, once or twice a year, I'll submit my receipts to, to the state of Washington and get my refund check for that. And the other thing I use it for, too, is just filling out my captain's log because of the trip. You know, I'm always interested in um, how much gas that I actually burn, what the trip actually costs, so I can keep track of the fuel efficiency of the boat. Um, it matters quite a bit because if there's, if you're going a long distance between two fuel docks, uh, the boat has really good range, but not at 25 knots, right? And then you slow down to get your miles per gallon to go up, right? So how did I configure this screen? So we're going to go over that. Um, <clears throat> so to configure the screen, right, you would start out, let me get the, back to the beginning. So you start out looking at... Um, Let's say you're like looking at fishing charts, right? So you click, <clears throat> always go to like vessel, and it's the engine display that I use. So under engine, all right, you come in, hit options, and you hit edit the gauge page. And I don't want to mess mine up, so I'm going to add a page just so I don't mess up the one I have. So these are the templates that it gives you uh, on here, and there's two pages to the templates. You can see all the different gauge layouts. Um, they don't let you make your own gauge layouts. You have to use one of the predetermined ones. So the one that I use is this one right here. Right, so pop up for this. So that way you've got your, you know, right? So it doesn't matter what the names of stuff are. It's just, uh, that gives you where the where you can put your data. So you select that. So now I have a second page right here. So this is what it will look like by default when you would load it up. And you'd be like, well, none of this stuff matters. I mean, the odometer's correct, but total fuel's over here, you know, stuff. Um, so <clears throat> to change all of these settings and stuff in here, um, all you do is, um, like this, we want to be the date. So you just hold the button in for a couple seconds, hit replace data, and then you have to scroll up and down and look through all of these um, instrumentation widgets. Now. Keep in mind that um, just because there's something here doesn't mean you have, like for example, temperature. What's the temperature of the water? Well, I can say put the water temperature there. I don't have anything on the boat that's gonna tell the chart plotter what the temperature of water is. I don't have a sensor, right? So that's never gonna, re that's never gonna um, report anything interesting, right? Um, you know, under sailing apparent wind speed, 
well that'd be nice to have but here and again i don't have a wind transducer know what that's going to be right so um you have to replace it with stuff that the boat knows so the easiest way to do it is put the ignition turn the ignition on but you don't have to have the engine running just have the ignition on and then then that way it'll it'll pick up the yamaha stuff so, uh, and the yamaha actually doesn't doesn't report a whole lot like under engine boost pressure coolant level exhaust temperature most of these things it doesn't have any instrumentation stuff for right oil pressure oil temp oil level i don't mean oil level right what percentage i don't have a sensor to tell me that all right but you, you can scroll me down and look and see what's here um, and just play with it so for me i'm going to do um so we want to do date date's going to be under what's date under system system and have the date and that's how you put the date and stuff in there right so then you say well i want uh, coolant temperature hold that in for a couple seconds replace the date that's an engine and that's coolant temperature and then i want to do the other one i want to do is oil pressure right here so hold this in do engine and i'll do oil pressure right there Right. One of the cool things is the, the top, uh, the top left and top right. You can hold these in, and you can change the presentation to make this a single or a dual data display. So if you change it to single, right, then it's just then it just shows one thing, right. Um, I always change both of them to dual. All right. And the way I do it is I always do um, up here. I'll do voltage. So replace the data, and I will do system voltage or unit voltage right that's the voltage that the chart plotter sees which is the voltage of the house bank and then the other one i will do engine and there should be a voltage here and now i have the unit voltage and the engine voltage side by side why that's important if there's something wrong with my charging system and i see my engine voltage stay up and then i watch my unit voltage drop below 12 volts i know i have a problem with engine charging right because if the engine's running i would expect both you want to be a, you know 13 volts or higher um <clears throat> you know i try and group um so that's how you change everything on it so on on the screen how i have everything set up here so i do so unit voltage engine voltage on the top left now like i said that's for for keeping track of my engine charging uh, for electrical the odometer i uh, you can reset that i never do i'm uh, i'll I use it like an odometer on a car how many miles i do i prefer nautical miles over miles um but that's that's easily changeable um to your preference the top right is the total fuel that's what that's the fuel that i have left on board and then total fuel or total flow is my gallons per hour all right um, obviously speed right dead center um, and then i've got my trim which i group together so I've got the trim tabs and the trim pitch. This data I get because I have the Lenco Auto Glide. If you don't have the Lenco Auto Glide, you won't get those two instrumentation um, pieces. And then um, the uh, <clears throat> the round dial right here. This is the um, tilt uh, um, of the engine, right? So it's basically the trim of the engine. Right now I'm at the dock, so the engine is trimmed all the way up. That's why it's 119 um, percent because the engine's up out of the water. And then RPM right next to it. And then the bottom right hand corner is basically like my trip stuff. You always put depth in the bottom right hand corner. And every screen on my chart plotter, no matter what screen I'm looking at, depth is bottom right hand corner. I don't want to run I don't want to run a ground. So I always configure everything to be depth low, lower bottom well, lower right hand corner. And then I've got fuel used for the trip, trip odometer, and then engine hours. So here and again, two main uses of this screen is when I need to fill out my fuel log just before I fill up. With, uh, with gas, I photograph this screen, and that tells me how much I used, how far I went, uh, and stuff for the fuel log. And then at the end of every trip, also, I photograph this screen, because I want the trip data and stuff for it. Um, that's why this is the most photographed um, screen I do on the boat. Um, so anytime I get ready to, to take off for a trip, I go to this screen, I hit options, and I will reset trip odometer. And then I also do one other thing. I wish I made this easier. I hit info, I hit tracks, and I do clear active track. 
I do that before I leave on every trip. And that resets it back to zero. So now look at my screen. I've got 150 gallons of gas. I've got no fuel used for the trip, no trip on the odometer yet because I haven't left. 553 engine hours total uh, and a cool temps. And the other thing is I actually set some limits on these um, for those of you with the Yamaha. So the numbers I used are right here for the engine temperature. Now these are numbers I put in based on me watching what's normal for my engine. All right, I tried finding what normal temperature was in Yamaha's manual and couldn't couldn't find where they where they said this or these are the hard limits for it. Um, you know, so I do a minimum of 100 degrees, max of 150, and the scale max is 160. Most of the time, my engine will be like 140, 145. It usually doesn't get hotter than that. <clears throat> and then on the oil pressure, the limits I set on it, I did. Uh, rated minimum of 10 psi maximum of 100 and 130 is the scale max um, is what i did that for because obviously no oil pressure is just as bad as way too much oil pressure right? <laughs> um, just to give me like some alerts if it was ever to exceed the limits then it would it'd give me an alert on that <clears throat> so uh that's how i use this screen if you have any questions please be sure to leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching if you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.